All right, it's raining here, so sorry about the background noise, but this is just a quick fuel system update. Um, I ended up taking a three to one pneumatic, uh, three quarter inch to one three eighths adapter that I actually found at Harbor Freight uh, for like $8 or something. And um, it pressure tested okay, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, and I put that onto a, they make a three eighths to, to eight end fitting, three eighths NPT to eight end. And then I put that onto a bulkhead connector. And then on the bottom side of the tank, the, the uh, this is for the Jaguar LS project. Um, this is the Jaguar stock tank. And on the bottom of the tank, I ended up putting, I ended up drilling through the stock fitting, which if you just drill it out till it's the same outer diameter is the, uh, this thing with focus, there we go. It, until it's the same outer diameter as this. So if you basically, if you take a drill bit, so roughly the same size as this, you drill through, and then you give it a couple of you know, hammer taps that pops right out of there. And then you can clean up the edges and uh, put a, a, a bulkhead fitting on. And that's what I ended up doing. And then it goes in, um, into the fuel tank and splits off to those two three eighths inputs. So the, uh, the stock Jaguar pickup looks like this. And well, I chopped the top off of it. It, it had the little ring on here because I thought for a minute I might be able to fit the new fuel pump set up in one of these and I was going to get an additional one because it only came with one tank or one fuel pump in the tank stock. I don't have the XJR, I just have the XJ8 model. And um, when I was looking around for them and trying to find what I couldn't find one, so I figured, well, I'll just make a bracket. So this is the, uh, like a fuel slosh plate, I guess, that goes in the back of the tank. Or it goes around the fuel pumps, basically, and it keeps the fuel from sloshing out of the bowl. Uh, so what I ended up doing was I'm going to twin Walbro 450 pumps, and I ended up making this aluminum bracket, which you can see it's definitely a homebrew project the cut marks and everything in it and the welding but um, what it does is it clamps the pumps in place and then it also has just for added protection I guess uh, two little aluminum tabs welded onto it that I just throw a hose clamp on just to make sure the pump can't move around up or down um, you know because it's not the clamp is not super tight I probably could have machined it out a little tighter than it is but I just I literally used an inch and a half hole saw and took a um, like a sandpaper roll and open it up until it was kind of like a tight fit, I guess. Um, and then I had to punch two holes and I countersunk them and tried to make them as nice as possible. But the um, two holes correspond with these two holes. So you can take this out and use this as your template and then, you know, lay it out on, on the aluminum or whatever. And I did like three inch center to center spacing on the pumps. And I think the whole thing overall is, is like seven inches. Um, it wasn't that big of a deal to do. I mean, I just basically cut a couple pieces of aluminum. Obviously, one of them I shaped. Um, but, yeah, just did what I had to do to, to, uh, to get it, uh, you know, the bracket made. So, the way this works is, well, it's pretty, it's probably pretty straightforward how it works. But, let me see if I can get this in here. Oh, yeah, there she goes. Grab my light. The pumps are going to sit like, well, it's gonna be close enough. Oh, close enough for the video anyway. But that's kind of how they're gonna sit. You can see where the hole is, the other, the uh, hole in the factory tank. And then, uh, you know, it's way out of, out of tilt right now, but, um, they're gonna sit in the stock bowl and the bracket's gonna to work to keep everything lined up where it needs to go. And then the two lines will just go into the single, or I'm sorry, the two lines will go into the into the splitter and then that'll go to the uh, single eight end. So, um, so far, that's what I've got. I'm gonna put it all together and, uh, you know, leak test it. Okay, pumps are in. Everything mechanically is tight. You got the uh, bracket bolted down to the stock fuel tank holes and I ended up using a couple stainless bolts uh, Allen had just because they were easier to get in and easier to get to um, and the uh, the hoses all fit okay so I'm happy with that I got to put the return back on a little I don't know what that thing is a buffer or something I suppose but I still got to wire it up but uh, all in all everything's good uh, minus wiring and the fuel hat 
And uh, one thing I did want to touch on was, um, sorry, it's dark out now, so I'm using a flashlight, but uh, make sure you get submersible fuel line when you put pumps in. Uh, if you guys decide to do a, you know, if you're even updating the XJR, um, otherwise you will be back in the tank within probably a couple months. This, the, uh, the fuel line that's not submersible, uh, it eats through real fast. And this stuff's really expensive. It's about 25 bucks a foot, but it's worth every penny compared to having to take your fuel tank out again. So uh, just kind of a heads up. So anyway, I'm gonna get this thing wired in and uh, I'll take some pictures of everything I've done and put them on the end of the video. And uh, that's pretty much the fuel system upgrade. Uh, I put a eight, N eh, eight AN line in as well, but um, that's pretty standard. I just ran the line from the front to the back and used a splitter that went from an eight N to two AN sixes uh, up to the fuel rail, which is I'll show you that real quick. Ugh. Well, you can kind of see it, but that's uh, that's the splitter, and it takes that 8N line that's coming in uh, down below the cylinder heads there, and then it uh, goes and splits off of the rails. Then I've got the, the uh, regulator I've got. It's an automotive style regulator, and it... Oh, I got crap everywhere. Ah, it's buried back there, but anyway, it's it's got both lines going into it, and then it uh, it heads back to the tank and the stock uh, return line. So uh, that's it for fuel system upgrades.